We're going to be talking a little bit about the effect of COVID on immigration processing at U.S. land borders. I'll go through this part pretty quickly. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So since uh, March of 2020, the U.S. borders have been closed to Canada and Mexico. They are restricted um, to essential travel only. The restriction, the order was originally a one-month order, and it's continued to be um, extended every month. So the current restrictions are in effect until May 21st, so they're getting ready to expire, but they will then likely be renewed um, and continue to be renewed on a monthly basis, you know, for the foreseeable future, since it remains uncertain how long COVID will continue. Um, like Dorothy said, it's easing here, but not everywhere else. So we can probably expect those restrictions to remain in place for a while. Um, so everything is restricted except for essential travel. So what is essential travel? Um, so excluded and allowed to come in um, is U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents um, returning to the U.S., um, anyone who is traveling to attend educational institutions, people traveling for medical purposes to work in the United States and traveling for emergency response and public health purposes. Um, the order was initially very ambiguous about what constituted um, allowable work in the US because it only mentioned very few things, including farm and agricultural work. But over the last year, what we have seen is um, non-immigrant work visas um, are being exempted where that's considered essential travel and they are permitted um, to enter by land. Um, one thing I did wanna touch on though, was that some of this has been inconsistently applied. It depends on the port of entry. Um, so it's always a good idea if you're traveling by land, if you think that you know you fall under essential travel to you know call, see what's going on, make sure that you're gonna be permitted to, to enter that way. Um, also included in essential travel is lawful cross-border trade. So that's the trucking industry mostly, um, official government travel and diplomatic travel, and then military related travel and operations. And then of course, members of the US Armed Forces and their families returning to the US. So then what constitutes land travel? So obviously coming by car um, at the borders, um, the restrictions do not apply to air, freight, rail, or sea travel. Um, but they do apply to passenger rail and ferry travel. So that's just something to keep in mind about land travel at the moment that the borders are closed other than essential travel um, and that that will likely continue um, for some time.